sometimes it's good just to have that little refresher and things do change. So just to update you on any changes as well. David. We also have one of our teaching assistants here um, who we could not live without. <laughs> um, they are superstars and they're also here to help um, throughout the day, but also they do a lot of work behind the scenes as well. I'm pretty sure you will bump into them at some point throughout the year um, as well. I'm going to send all of the PowerPoint out to you on Friday. The team will send it all to their classes. So you don't need to worry about writing down any email addresses or um, trying to take pictures or screenshot anything. Everything will be sent to you with all of the links that you will need. Okay. Um, so my job today is just about the general information and updates um, um, for the school. So first of all, um, the school uniform. I know um, at the minute um, some of the items are out of stock, which is understandable then if the, if the students don't have the correct swimming costume. Obviously, when they do come back in stock, our expectations for uniform um, will continue to be high. We want the children to come to school well presented um, and ready to learn. Um, on when they have PE or swimming, they can wear their PE kits on those days and then the day they have swimming, bring their swimming kit. It's just easier for them to get changed in and out of their PE kit than having ties. Today we had a few ties that went missing at swimming. Um, we lost some socks. These things happen. Um, we'll try and make sure that we get them from the lost and found or we find them um, as soon as possible. Um, all items to be labelled as well as possible. I know that the children are older now, they're in year six and they are responsible, but the amount of jumpers that get left on chairs, that get left on the floor and they're all the same size or similar size and we don't know who's who's. If you can put a label on them or just write their initials or something on it, um, on their clothing, that would be great. I've just spent um, over the holidays getting labels for my son. This is FS1, so first time and labeling everything. I even labeled his shoes, which I don't know if they needed to be labeled, but they got labeled. Um, so that was my experience of labeling this summer. Um, one of the things is we are trying to get the children outside because they love to just get to the playground at break times, at lunch times, we, but we also have to make sure that it's safe for them to do so. Um, and um, one of those things is that the heat at the minute is not, we're not able to get out for both breaks. We ha I have been okay for first break, um, but lots of the children are not bringing their hats. So when we go out there, they want to run on the football pitch. They want to go and play with their friends. If they do not have a hat, they need to stay in the shaded area. So we're trying to encourage them. I think they're now in their year six, they think they're a bit cool for hats, for school hats anyway. I'm sure they'll wear other hats. Um, <laughs> But yeah, we, we are trying to encourage it, if you can encourage it as well at home, just to, to bring in their school hat so that at break times they can go and play with their friends and get out. And even as the cooler months come in, we still do encourage it because, you know, we do live in a hot climate um, and we want to make sure that we protect them as much as possible mm -hmm. when they are. Sorry? Mm -hmm. um, so they go out for break times um, on a Monday to Thursday. On a Friday, they do not go out because we only have the one break. Um, and yes, for both breaks when possible um, on Monday to Thursday. Um, but at the minute, it's only first break and it depends on the temperature that day. So we the the nurse um, makes sure that she checks the temperature just before break time so that it's, it's a safe temperature for the students to go out. If it's not, we have indoor break. Okay, um, attendance. Um, we obviously promote 100% attendance. Um, if, however, your child is sick or you're not able to, you're not able to get them to school, um, then if you can please make sure that you email the absence um, underscore WIC email address, um, as well as the class teacher, just so that we're aware, but also um, down at reception and everyone is aware that the child will not be in school that day. And also what comes with that as well, I'm going to jump right here to um, any medical issues. If um, your child is unwell, if um, you have any questions or if they need to take some medicine that might only be short term or long term, then just to make sure you contact um, the school nurse and the school doctor um, as well. There's a clinic email address, which again, 
is on a slide further along that you'll be able to um, have when I send the email home to you. Um, you've already received or should have already received two emails from us. We will send an email every Friday. Um, it'll just give you a little summary of what's been going on for the week and then any important information that you need to know. I think um, the first one was talking about the netball trials, which are happening now. Um, it might be linked to sport. It could be linked to uniform. It could be linked to any changes in timings. We, we just put anything that's um, useful information for you in the weekly email, and it comes from your class teacher. Um, the pickups and the drop-offs, I know traffic is not on our side, um, and that the, the wait um, can often be um, a long time, shall we say. And um, with the one road coming in and out, yeah. And we, we understand that there, there are going to be times when we are having late drop-offs or late pickups. We have things in place for that. Um, but as much as possible, we just encourage them to try and be here on time. Obviously, with the traffic, we have got some plans in place. The RTA have now agreed to open up another road. Um, they have promised that it will be built pretty quickly. Um, I'm not sure how quickly it will be built, but you know, um, it has been approved and that's that's a big step from last year. So hopefully um, we'll get the new roads and it will ease the traffic a little so bit. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> okay. Um, and then um, on this slide here, we have got pictures of the school uniform. As I said, I know that you can get them from threads. Um, I know that we've had a few emails about um, swim costumes not being adopted and school bags. Um, we just ask that your swim costume, if you if possible, can try and be navy or black until threads get them back in stock um, and you're able to get the school um, uniform or um, swim, swim suits. Um, this one is a little bit of a um, pet peeve of mine, is the wheelie bags. Now, I understand that the students have a lot of stuff in their bags if they've got swimming and library and different things on a certain day. However, for us, they're a health and safety hazard. Um, the amount of accidents we have had with the wheelie um, bags from um, people tripping over them and falling to sort of a bumps and bruises to broken bones. So um, we would ask that we do not have any wheelie bags in the school um, and that we have um, the Wellington bags, and um, which again can be bought at threads and when in stock. Good. You can have a look at the pictures for yourself just to see what uniform um, for PE, swimming and everyday um, uniform. And I'm going to pass you on to um, my colleague, I spoke for long enough, who will tell you a little bit more about food. Okay, so Slices is the name of the food catering service that we have here at school. Um, in year six, the children are allowed to visit the cafeteria and they can pay with cash or they can charge their lanyard to pay for their lunch if they don't bring a uh, packed lunch on that day. The morning snack does have to be pre-ordered, so they cannot go to the cafeteria for morning snack. They can pre-order that snack and that will get delivered to the classroom at break time. That has to be ordered by the Friday, the week before though, so more information about that can be found in the Academy Parent Guide as well. That one. Yes, yes. So um all the students um have their own lanyard card. Are they is your um son or daughter new to the school? No. Mm -hmm. So um there was some sent up to the classes last week. Um if they didn't receive one, um then we can follow up and find out when it's going to come up to the class. But they should get it and it should be given to them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And um, we are a healthy eating school. We really do promote that to the children, and we encourage them to have a healthy packed lunch and snack as well. We are a nut and pork free school as well, so just to be aware of that if you're making the packed lunches. We encourage the children to bring in at least one bottle of water into school every day, and on the days that they have PE, we encourage them to bring two bottles just because they will need um, extra water. We do have areas where they can fill up the bottles as well if they do drink their, their water in that day. We have health eating monitors in class to monitor that to make sure everybody is eating healthily. 
And on a Tuesday, the children can bring in one treat to enjoy as well. So we call that Treat Tuesday. They can bring in a treat for a snack or in their lunchbox on that particular day. And just to let you know about the school timing. So every day, the drop-off is between 7.15 a.m. and 7.50 a.m. And that's Monday to Friday. On a Monday to Thursday, the pickup is at 3 p.m. And on a Friday, it's at 12 p.m. The extracurricular activities, the ECAs, you will be receiving further information about them towards the end of next week. But when those are running, they will be on Tuesday to Thursday for year six, and they will run until 4, 10 p.m. It's the later finish if your child gets one of the ECAs. And also there'll be further information about the paid ECAs. Um, that's going to be sent out towards the end of next week. We'll receive more information about that. Um, so here's an example of one of our curriculum overviews. So this will be sent to you on Friday. Um, and this will outline all of the different objectives that we'll be covering um, from English, maths, science, um, reading, writing, and some of the things that we'll be doing within class. Um, and you'll be able to get that on Friday in your weekly email. The timetables have already been sent out to you last week. Please make sure you take note of when you've got specialist subjects, especially PE and swimming, as all of the classes have got different swimming and PE days. Just make sure that your child has got the correct uniform um, and making sure they're bringing in anything they need for a particular day. Um, and the school transport service, if your child goes home on the bus, I know that um, you will have already been sent this information. Um, and you will also get this um, at the end of the week. There's also an email address there for any queries regarding um, the transport service. But just for your information there, you can see um, from years five to 13, they will arrive um, between 7.15 and 7.40 a.m. And the departure from school is 3.20 p.m. from Monday to Thursday, and then the usual time of 12.15 on a Friday. Okay, so our house teams are the same as last year. Those of you who had students in school last year, they stay in the same houses. So we've got Pearl, Onyx, Ruby and Emerald. New students should have been emailed which house they will be in. We have house points that relate to the houses and they're tallied up each week. And then at the end of the year, at the end of terms, there are rewards for the houses with the most points. And we also have sports day as well, where the students will be competing against each other in their houses to kind of win on school uniform days or whatever that might be. So as uh, Ms. London mentioned, uh, the students will receive house points for their houses. Um, this is this comes from showing good behaviour and good attitudes. We have asked the PE team to bring any of the students whose parents are here to bring them up to the year six area, so they should be brought up here. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'll continue. Thank you. <laughs> so, as I was saying, the children are uh, received house points for showing good behaviour and good attitudes in the classroom. Uh, these are linked to our HPL attitude skills. So um, the common language that we have around the school for house points, um, we've got a hard working strand, which is to do with practice, resilience, not giving up, perseverance. We also have empathetic as well, which is linked to a confident learner, somebody who's shown good collaboration through speaking and listening skills and being concerned for others and the, uh, the society, and also students that show an open mind um, asking questions throughout the classroom as well. And um, it'd be really good to encourage this common language at home as well, just to get the students to show resilience with their home learning, you know, to take risks as well at home. Um, so yeah, that's, that's rewarded throughout the primary school for Health Point. Okay. Uh, we are to bring your own device to school, so we encourage your children to bring in their iPad every day to school, as well as their headphones, if possible, or earphones. Um, we're not playing on games all day. We don't use them for anything like that. It's purely for educational reasons. Um, we have lots of amazing apps, um, which the children will take part in. 
Um, so we, we encourage them to bring these iPads fully charged, as charged as they possibly can. Um, and if needed, in a, um, if they could bring in a portable charger, if their iPad's running low in the morning, if they notice, um, and just have it in a protective case so that they can keep that safe. They don't use it at break times and lunch times. It's purely when and if needed is as a lesson. So be assured that the screen time shouldn't be very high in school and just when needed. Talking about important apps, uh, there are three that we use predominantly, Seesaw, Timetable, and Class of the Century. So Seesaw we use in class to kind of cut down on the amount of paper that we print. We might upload resources or tasks for students to view and then do their work in their books. So that will be used in class by the teachers. We have Timestable Rockstar, which is a great application for us to practice times tables. This can be used at home and in school. Children love it. They will try and get on it as much as they can, which is great. And in school, we have competitions class-wide. We have competitions with GEMS against different GEM schools, and we have competitions against other schools in Dubai. So we use the app uh, alongside Timestable Rockstars to really kind of promote some competition within their times tables as well. And the final app is Century. So Century is used for a few, few reasons, one of which Mr. Parkinson will talk about, which is home learning. We have our English, our maths and our science uploaded to the assignments page. But Century is really good for us to use for pre and post learning. So we set assessments before we do a topic, we set assessments after we do the topic, and we as teachers can look at the data and compare how they progress the students. Uh, and also Century has an artificial intelligence software which is brilliant because it personalizes tasks, which are called nuggets on the app, to the child's needs. So it will look at their strengths, it will look at their weaknesses, and it will personalize different tasks on their pathway. So it's a fantastic uh, tool that we will use in class, and please do encourage students to use it at home as well. Uh, so parents then, yay. Um, so a Padlet is lots of information on there in terms of home learning. There'll be some notices as well. Um, Learning Ladders is a platform we use to track, assess, uh, track objectives. So this, for Learning Ladders, you'll have your own accounts at home and you'll be able to track termly objectives that the students cover in the classroom. Um, end of year reports will also be released on there. Um, if you haven't got uh, an email of Learning Ladders yet, or you don't have a login detail, there is a contact address there, which you can grab afterwards, um, if that's Jen Balbauer, who will assist you with that. There is also the GEMS Connect app, which um, is an information portal for transport, uh, fee payments, and all student academic information, including reports and assessments as well. Um, again, if you need any support, getting your login details, that's the contact detail. Cool. Um, reading is um, obviously, as you know, very important for children's development. Um, we really push the children to be reading at home um, as well as in school. Um, we want them to read for at least 20 minutes per day. Um, I'll just read a quote here that is on here. It says, reading for at least 20 minutes per day exposes children to 1.8 million words annually, whereas a child who only reads for five minutes per day will only read um, 282,000. Um, so it's really important to get, give them as much information as possible to help them with their writing. It links to every part of the curriculum. So if we could have your support as well with helping them to read at home. Um, the children will be taking home a reading record um, where reading should be logged every day if possible um, and signed by a parent just to say that they have read for that 20 minutes. It can be on any book. They will take home with them two books from school, but this could be their own book if they're enjoying something at home, a newspaper article, something they've read online, um, just to promote that reading. So we really want to push the reading um, and They'll do quizzes as well throughout the year that we try and aim to get their word count up to become word millionaires and they get certificates for these as well. So um, if you could support us with the promotion of that, that would be great. Uh, yeah, home learning, as you mentioned, so the Padlet uh, website, there will be uh, spellings on there. Children need to practice their spellings every week and um, also other specialist subjects may release home learning on there as well, in terms of Arabic and French. Uh, so always keep an eye out for the Padlet. Uh, the Century is our main platform for distributing English, maths and science home learning. That home learning will be uh, given out on a Wednesday and expects to be completed by Monday. Um, these will be in their assignments section in Century. They click on assignments, they'll have it all their titles, English, maths and science. Um, 
there is a nugget to complete for each one of those. This nugget will be based on current learning, but also you may have a nugget from old learning so the students can try and retrieve that information and learning. Um, there is also, if the children need a bit more help on their home learning, there will be a video to watch. There'll be a learning video for them to support them as well. Again, like I mentioned earlier with the high performance learning attribute, this encourages independence on this. The children should be able to do this on their own. Um, as I said, we've got a video there to help them. Um, so please make sure they complete that. And yeah, that was for home learning. So oh, this one is social media. Please follow us on all platforms. Um, we will be we giving weekly posts out about all the amazing learning happening in the school, in the classroom. Um, so yeah, we've got Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook there for just year six. Um, <clears throat> with regards to social media, of course, we'll be taking photos and videos. It's kind of that window into that window into the classrooms. If you do not want your students to be part of those photos and videos, please do just email the email that's on the screen now, so you can say that you don't want them to take part of that uh, and the details there. So we have a brilliant well-being and inclusion team. Um, we've got Mrs. Balban, who's the director of inclusion. Ms. Tetley, who will be the year five and year six Senko. And we've got two school counsellors, Mrs. Johnson and Mrs. Hughes. Again, their emails are there. Should you have any inquiries, please direct them to them. Um, and just following on that, we've got some key contacts as well. If you've got a particular question, please direct your email, your question to any of these areas. And again, this PowerPoint will be available at the end for you to note these emails down. Um, but thank you for coming. It's been an absolute pleasure. If you do have any questions, if you can speak to your uh, child teacher at the end of this session. But thank you again. Thank you.